Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to continue our work with working with um, U criteria and programming it so that you can set it at runtime. We have the HR schema, a few entities and a few view objects. And um, I have the view object open here, and you can see that I have already created the view criteria and the bind variable. And you do that by pressing this button. I'll just uh, quickly go in here and show it. Basically, you, if it's not already created, you would create add item and then select which fields and what type of operator you would use. In this situation, we have a bind variable, which we created by pressing this button here. So this is our uh, view criteria name and the bind variable. And um, in other examples that I've given on setting the where clause or running a programmatic uh, view criteria, I also did it in the application module, module and at the JSF page. But I'm not going to do that tonight. I'll just keep it simple. So let's go to our Java. Um, it, again, we would create it by pressing this button and then selecting here. It's already created, however, so we just click on here. And you'll see that I have two of these. And the reason that I have two is that I have found several different ways of doing it. This one um, works first at the View Criteria Manager, and uh, then it gets the View Criteria. And then this one just gets the View Criteria. And you can see that it grabs the name of that View Criteria. And um, it's using this here, which um, if we do declare, it's just further down in this Java document here, you can see that it's the set job bind variable, which um, is uh, setting the bind variable. And you really need to create the Java class after you create the bind variable. I'm not sure if it'll automatically create when you do that, but I generally create the employee uh, the view object class later. So we've got two. We're going to expose them now. So we come over here to our client interface. And you can actually see that the um, we've got this one, which is the one without the view controller manager. And this is with the view controller manager. And you can actually see that these are there. Um, you can set the value, and you can probably get the value. But um, wouldn't do much beyond that, um, because you really need to invoke the execute query and such. So then we have here, I'm going to refresh our application module and click on it. And let's take a look at the employee. There they are. We'll go to our main web page. Here we are. And um, I'll drag this one on first. I'm going to do an ADF parameter form. And uh, just to show something different in this video, I'm going to do that again. And you can click here, and you can actually see that this is the parameter. And in this case, I'm uh, going to use a select one choice. And what this does is it gives us the ability to create a um, list box. And you can see that this will be the attribute behind the list box, and we're going to set the the display attribute to the job title. And there you can see it. And I'll now grab this one and move it over. We'll just leave that one as is because we can fiddle with it. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to have. So it's very easy to do at this point. So now we're going to grab this one. I'm going to select one choice still. And I think we can just use this same one. I'm not sure if it'll change when we run it. OK, and here's our web page. We'll choose that and get only one record. Hopefully, we'll have some records there. Yeah, quite a few sales reps. So you can see that um, our code and list box which was incredibly easy to implement worked just great so um, that's how you do a named view criteria 
Um, you can set it to the value and reset it uh, as needed. Well, thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful. Have a good evening.